Hi, welcome back. Give me that. Give me. You want it? You want it? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started, I just want to let you know that I uh, started another channel um, in regards to all my automotive content. Um, so if you like the full scale cars as much as you'd like the radio control small scale cars, um, why don't you go over and uh, check that out and give that a subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more videos on that channel. Um, I will have the link in the description down below. Alright guys, today we are talking about parts. We're going to go over the Super Baja Ray 2.0 versus the original Super Baja Ray and get a full list of all the new parts that they put onto this truck. I've got the instruction manuals here for the new 2.0, the original, and the Super Rock Ray. So we're going to see what they pulled from the Super Rock Ray, what they pulled from the Super Baja Ray, and then the new parts that they added to make the Super Baja Ray 2.0. It is quite a bit of parts, so it's going to start stacking up. Hey guys, got a new merch store available with some hats, shirts, and other accessories. So if you want to pick up some cool swag and support the channel, go ahead and click that link in the description below. Alright guys, got the manual here for the 2.0. Um, I have gone through and compared this with the uh, original as well as the Super Rock Ray. And I've kind of put a list together of all the new part numbers. Um, so this is going to be all the new stuff that they put on to the 2.0 truck. So before we get started, um, this is what I did. I went through all the manuals for the big trucks for all the Super Ray series, um, and then I highlighted part numbers. Um, so just a breakdown when you're seeing these on the screen. Um, green is gonna be any new part number. So that's a new number they added. Um, if it's got a little pink swatch next to it, um, that is gonna be because it's new to the Super Baja Ray, but then the pinks is gonna indicate that they pull it off the Super Rock Ray. Um, and then all the orange ones that are highlighted in orange are just going to be original Super Baja Ray parts. Um, so they kind of revamped the original and brought it out with a new look. Um, I think that being said, obviously the first new thing is going to be the body. Um, they did come out with a new body for it and it is a one piece body. Um, so it's a one piece instead of the, what was it, a four piece because you had each fender and then the cab and the hood on the OG one. Um, and then the funny thing is, is so the driver, um, driver mold is new. Um, however, the helmet portion of it, so the heads, um, were actually the same part number as the Rock Ray. So they used a new base, but with the Rock Ray, um, Rock Ray helmets. Um, obviously the new base because it's going to fit in a little different shape and size area than the Rock Ray. Um, so the new base, but the heads off of the Rock Ray. Um, and then the body and the front bumper and stuff like that. Um, obviously that's kind of gave it the new look um, as well as this truck is a slightly different wheelbase. Um, so all three vehicles actually have a different wheelbase. Um, so this one is slightly longer than the original Super Baja Ray. And then obviously the Rock Ray was a little different than both of them. Next up, I mean the wheels, uh, wheels and tires. Um, so the new tire um, and then a new beadlock wheel. So that short course size, you know, inner and outer difference in diameter um, and then on a beadlock wheel so hopefully that solves some of the issues from the original one um, I'll leave a link to my uh, problem video for the Super Baja Ray um, probably a little cue card up here now um, but yeah the wheels were pretty pretty terrible on the original one they were just uh, break fairly easily you land it wrong or you jump it at all um, you kind of just breaking the plastic around the hub and then you get a really nasty wobble out of it. Um, so hopefully these wheels, um, it's nice that they're beadlock so you can change the tires whenever you want without buying new wheels um, as long as the wheels stay together and in one piece. <laughs> um, so if it's anything like their fifth scale, um, so their DBXLE actually had a really nice wheel on it. Um, nice beadlock, per pretty strong and that's obviously a bigger vehicle with more, more weight behind it. Um, and those hold up pretty good. So. Hopefully these new wheels are um, as strong as that. And then it's a BF Goodrich tire, which looks really good. Um, nice, good scale look. Um, it should produce decent um, all around traction. So fun part on the original one was with those tires, they were really good to slide on the asphalt, especially in the rain. Um, so that was really fun on the OG one. Um, but yeah, new body, new wheels, new tires. 
Um, and then we get into the cage portion of it, which obviously to accommodate the new wheelbase with the new body and everything, um, there's going to be quite a bit of cage pieces um, that are new. Um, so most of the cage is new. It does use the light bars and stuff off of the old truck, um, but you got a bunch of new cage parts with the uh, dual spare tire carrier. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so now it's carrying a dual spare tire, um, which gives it that more more scale realistic look of a real Baja truck, um, as well as you get the uh, the scale accessories like the the molded floor jack and everything, uh, which actually look pretty decent with all the decals on them and everything. So. Not, not too shabby on their part, um, but yeah, most of the cage parts are new, um, so yeah, there's new wheelbase, new new body, everything like that, so that's kind of goes hand in hand with the body and the wheelbase. After that, we start getting into some of the front end suspension and stuff. Um, same shocks, shocks aren't new, so shocks have been the same on all of them, um, but new, new front bumper setup um, to mold it with that body and give it that new, um, new front lift, um, looks pretty good. Um, sway bar was new yeah like sway bar and mounting and front bumper um, and then on the front suspension you actually have it's a plastic molded drive shaft it's actually the front same front drive shafts off of the super rock ray um, so they use a different one on the super rock ray than they did on the super baja ray originally um, so the 2.0 is taking the ones off the super baja ray um, and then the new new front arms and the front arm inserts um, to strengthen them. Um, those are actual new part numbers. Those aren't shared with the rock ray um, So that's a that's a whole new new fresh part number for them as well as the upper arms um, So the upper and lower front control arms um, And then they did on this truck. They did go to a 17 millimeter hex um, So that is gonna vastly open up your wheel and tire selection. I'm so glad they did that They should have done that on the first one um, they made their own stupid size with their own stupid wheel and tire that you didn't have any options to run aftermarket unless you converted it. Um, so being that right out of the box is going to be great. Um, so that does have the 17 mil hex on it. Not much going on with the uh, center transmission or the uh, center drive shaft. Um, that is all the same. Uh, they didn't change any of that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, there wasn't a problem there. Um, I did notice, however, that there is a new part number for the um, set screw that holds the drive cup on the center transmission. Um, that green one there. Um, for some reason that is a new part number. Um, I believe it's the same size screw. Obviously it's the same size drive cup. Um, so for some reason they just switched it to a different part number. Um, but it's the same, same size and everything. So not really any point in that. Um, and then obviously the motor on this one is gonna be new. Um, it is the same KV as the uh, Super Rock Ray, um, which is a 750 KV motor, um, but it is the new Spectrum stuff. Um, so motor and speed control have the same specs. It's just the new Spectrum Firma stuff. Um, so the new newer technology going into it and it's the Spectrum Smart Firma. Um, that's a whole nother discussion on that stuff. So that's a different video for later. Um, but it is a 750 kV with 160 amp ESC. Um, so this is rated as 8S. The original Super Baja Ray had a 1200 kV motor in it and that was only rated for 6S just because of the motor. Speed control can handle 8S all day, um, but that motor being the higher RPM motor, um, that was limited to 6S. Um, so this one is an 8S truck, which I mean that old truck on 6S was ballistic. I'm sure this new new truck with the lower KV on 8S is just absolutely insane. Um, haven't driven one, but I'm sure it's absolutely insane. Um, from there, we kind of go on to the main chassis plate and stuff. Now this is the chassis off of the Super Rock Race, so it has the bottom feed battery load instead of the, the rear exit, um, which a lot of people liked on the Super Rock Ray. Um, it was kind of uh, not necessarily a pain in the ass, but it wasn't wasn't the easiest thing doing the batteries on the original Super Baja Ray being the rear exit load or the rear load. Um, but bottom load on this, so uh, shares the main chassis plate and stuff with the Super Rock Ray. Um, and then they did update as well for electronics, they did also update the servo. Um, so it's the S905 servo, um, which should be a little bit better spec for it, um, but it's still an RTR servo. So 
you know, you're probably going to get into a situation where you're going to upgrade that. Uh, most most ready to run trucks, you just end up upgrading the servo. It's kind of a given um, that the servo is going to be, you know, iffy at best. Um, but yeah, and then it's got the new the new Spectrum receiver as well. Um, so I think this one comes with the DX3 radio, um, but it is the SR6100 AT uh, receiver. Um, and then you get into some of the new, some of the some of the rear fake replica parts are new. Um, this was as well as on the cage they had they showed on the cage page they showed like the you know the floor jack the molded floor jack stuff like that. Um, this has your fire extinguishers your your fake uh, shock reservoirs stuff like that the radiator and stuff that's all new part numbers um, so they didn't use anything off of the old original Super Baja Ray or the Rock Ray um, and then the rear sway bar is new. Um, so new rear and front sway bars, um, but other than that, the steering rack, the steering bell cranks, all that that whole setup is um, original. The uh, top deck was the uh, same part number as the original. It's just the chassis plate they changed, so the the new chassis off of the Super Rock Ray. Now we get into the rear end. Um, so this is going to be your solid rear axle um, for the most part. The solid rear axle remain the same, the housing, the internals, all that remain the same. Um, and again, it is 17 mil hex, so those were new. Going to the 17 mil hex from the old stupid ones. Um, but your rear center drive shaft, your rear um, trailing arms, and your rear upper links um, are all new part numbers. Again, this is a different wheelbase truck. Um, it's very similar wheelbase, but different wheelbase, um, so new parts to accommodate for that. Um, other than that, I mean, most of the parts were the same on the truck. You just had obviously the new wheelbase, so you had to accommodate for that. 17 mil hexes, you have to accommodate for that. New body, so cage and everything kind of goes hand in hand. But yeah, that's going to be what the new stuff on the Super Baja Ray 2.0 over the OG original Super Baja Ray was. Um, so thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button with the little bell next to it. That way you can stay tuned for uh, new videos coming out on the channel. Um, go ahead and click the links down below to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay updated on all the behind the scenes stuff that I'm doing that I don't film. Um, and as always, I will see you in the next one.